Hey everyone, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator with your host, Hurst Quasar, in Quasar's Customs Garage. Uh, today is part two of this 71 Chevelle rebuild. And, uh, well, as you noticed, I kind of moved the AAA CUDA out of the garage for right now. Uh, why? Well, because between episodes, I was, I got a little bored and decided to build something a little bit different. The Flamo. So, this is the, the uh, Salem Flamo. I named it a Pro Stock. Uh, it was a configured into car editor. And uh, I've been toying around with it a little bit. I've got it all built, it's ready to go. Uh, what I've been doing. It's been my first time of, you know, messing around with the, the transmission, the gearboxes and the transmission. I've got 10 speeds in this sucker. And um, right now, this is the way I've got it set up. And I still have some slight issues of it over revving. But uh, other than that, got a few things to toy around with it. And it should be ready to go. But back to our Chevelle. Yeah, for the most part, got it pretty much built up. Uh, we'll take this engine out of her. Send this over to number one car left. We're going to remove this gearbox completely. I'm going to put a custom gearbox in it. I'll just remove that exhaust while I'm underneath here. Don't need that. Yeah, the Flamo was uh, it's kind of like a toy. It's something I was messing around with. And I actually have a parking lot or a parking garage full of um pro stock type vehicles so that's going to be that's going to end up on that level eventually let's see what we got here i have to say these engines are fairly easy to rebuild unlike the overhead cam v8s um, I mean, really, when you have no con rods or no con rod caps on these, it takes, doesn't take much to disassemble this sucker. Let's see what we have here, what parts I can salvage from this thing. Hopefully, for the most part, I just salvaged the, uh, the engine block. It's the only thing I really care about is salvaging the engine block. Everything else I will replace. I did get the Ford download content. Um, and I do have a few cars in my garage that I need to put a Ford engine in. So that's a good deal. That's a good thing. I'm kind of glad I've got that. Can start doing some things with it. All right, we were able to salvage my engine block. All right, so as for the rest of the pieces on this beast, uh, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. That. Yeah, not a. I'm not going to use any of this. I'll use the crank, of course. All right, so let's uh, hop into the, um, I always like getting the, the performance parts first. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I see, I think, I think I have four of those, right? Four of those. Uh, clutch plate, pressure plate. 
two of those, two heads. Uh, do we have exhaust manifolds for these? Is that the one for it? Ooh, I think it's this one. Pick up that. Uh, I believe we need a fill filter. Ignition coils, we need eight of those. Distributor, any of those pieces don't need any of that. Uh, pistons, I'm gonna put eight of the custom ones in. Uh, power steering pump, of course. Uh, spark plugs, and I believe this has a throttle body on it. Um, while I'm here, I might as well pick up a couple of. These mufflers and a couple of the mid pipes. All right. Now hop all over to the regular stuff now. Uh, you know what? I don't think that thing has an air box. Um, just in case it does, I'll pick up those pieces while I'm here. I'll have to jump back over and get the air filter for that. <clears throat> um, I do believe I need maybe two belt tensioners. I'm trying to remember. Put these cars together with these engines so many times. I thought I knew everything I needed to know. Cam gears, I need four. Already got the camshaft. Uh, clip A's. I need four of those for the air filter. Uh, crankshaft bearing cap. Uh, three of those. Crankshaft pulley. Gotcha. <laughs> I already got the performance heads. Oh, and this is where it's always fun. I don't know if it's B and C or C and D. So. I'll always sell them back if I don't need them. I'll get them all. It's my covers. <laughs> I'm going to get halfway through this building this engine and go, man, I forgot something. Or you guys are watching going, man, he skipped right over that. He should have gotten those pieces. I always seem to jump back and forth. Uh, I think it's the supercharged intake. Uh, need an oil pan. Uh, V8 oil pan. Need piston rings. Uh, get through here real quick. Don't need any of those. Don't even need rockers. That's why I'm loving this. Uh, rod caps. I'm going to need eight of those. Okay, the serpentine belts. Which ones do I need? Which ones do I need? Uh, I even need that one. Serpentine belt B. Need that one. We'll need a starter. We'll need a supercharger. Oh, that's the one I need, is that one right there. Uh, I don't think I need, that's the overhead valve. Uh, need two of these timing belts. Also need a timing cover. V8. No rods necessary. Water pump. Need a water pump for the V8. And I believe I'm gonna need that pulley for the V8. Alright. Uh, let's go back into the power boost shop because I believe I have one of those. Alright. So I believe I have sufficient pieces to get this thing rolling. Alright. Shaft in. What was that all about? It's 
been hard to get back into the game and do any recording because I have been one busy man. Uh, work, house projects, and just life in general is just been keeping me away from recording. Um, you know, finding the time to do that and you know, having the space someplace quiet. And I usually do this on the road, so tonight I am on the road away from home. Uh, yes. Okay, let's go around to the back side here. Now, what I did not pick up was the throw out bearing, but I'll have to pick that up later. All right. So did I get the right exhaust manifold? Yes, I did. All right, spark plugs. And gears. Like I said, this is probably one of the easy. This is probably one of the easiest engines to rebuild. So hopefully I'll have time and we'll get this puppy out on a drag strip and see how we can tune that transmission in a little bit. The transmission edition is was I'd have to say a great thing because I am telling you what. Uh, you try to take these cars out on a drag strip or just floating around on the on the airstrip and you the engine revs out, they spin out too easily. And oh you know what else I forgot? I forgot those silly pulleys. Alright. I'll have to hook up with some pulleys here in a minute. All right. Kind of wish these were a different color than the than the head cover cover color, because ah, that's what I was missing. Don't have an intake either. What do you know? Okay, so a couple intake covers. That must be getting popular. My phone's ringing off the hook. You heard it over there? That clicky noise is the torque wrench. All right, I think about as far as I can go with this. Let's uh, jump back into the parts depot here. <clears throat> okay, I need supercharger intake. Where are them pulleys at? Making you dizzy yet? Certainly making me dizzy. Now I believe I need five B's and two A's. I believe that's the right combination. Uh, then the head cover, cover. Where did they go? All right. Got to be in there somewhere. Just something, there we are. Okay, so we got two of those. Uh, what else was I missing? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Alright, so, yep. I need five of those. Five of those B pulleys. Five of the B pulleys, two A pulleys. I 
And you need at least one tensioner. One belt on, two belts on, got a idler roller down there, and we should have a belt tensioner right here. <clears throat> That's it for the front of the engine. Oh, now I remember what I needed. Fuel rails. Need fuel rails. See how my game's jumping around? Oh. Okay, we need fuel rails and that throw out bearing. So, fuel rails I will get from shop here. Fuel rails. I'll go back to the normal parts, gearbox, get myself throw out bearing. Game is jumpy tonight. Alright, this should have throw bearing. Alright. I should be golden. Alright, get everything set up. Take this off the stand. Place it in the car. Alright, we don't need no longer need that, we'll get rid of that. Do we have a gearbox uh, air box in here? You know what? There is not an air box in here. Hmm. Um. We're going to take care of that in a little bit. Go get myself a transmission. Uh. I don't think these exhaust pieces are in. Don't know if those are it or not. I guess we'll find out. We're going to fix that air box issue on this. Don't you worry about it. so I have to go back to the shop and get those. Starter. Wait a minute, I got a starter, right? Did I get the V6 starter? Ah. Gotta be kidding me. Okay, I need exhaust C. I don't have a drive shaft either? What happened to my drive shaft? Wow, I am really messing up here. Okay. Uh, main parts, exhaust, uh, 2C pipes, check, uh, gearbox, drive shaft, check. I believe that's all I needed now. Alright, let's put the pipes in. Oh, I needed a starter. Dang. See, I've got, you know, over 550 hours on this game, and I still forget stuff in the shop. <sighs> wow. Starter V8. Uh-oh. You see what I see? I forgot to do something on the end of the engine. Here, I thought it was all done. I am not. Look at this. Forgot the oil filter. Jeez. Forgot the bearing caps. Man, I am a mess. Just in a hurry to try to get it done. Ah. Well, don't call me if you want to be a mechanic. 
I know that phone is ringing off the hook over there, but I'm not doing well tonight. All right. Instead of pulling this all back out, we'll try to do this from underneath. I think this can be done. For the most part, I've been able to do this since day one, is trying to pull these things apart from underneath the car. Um, it gets nice when you start having the tools to be able to pull stuff, pull the whole engine out once you level up. Ah, uh, there we go. And yes. Oh, pan seems to be going right through the suspension. Hmm. Did not notice that when I modified this car. Um, alright, I think for the most part that's good. First things first, I'll put some oil in it. test on her baby wow that was that was pretty harsh all right we have a good compression check all right um we can bring the welder over Take care of the interior. I'm not sure if I took care of the interior already or not, but we'll do it again anyway. It's only a hundred bucks. What the heck? All right. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Ah, the interior is nice and clean. All right. Let's throw some body parts on here real quick. Community cars, body shop. Type in 1971. Alright, I know I need a bumper. Got the front end, need doors, windows, windows, hood, rear windows, headlights, taillights. Alright, let's set this puppy up. Ugh, I was on a roll. Oh, the mirror is not wanting. Hmm. Where is the mirror? There we go. Sometimes you just gotta toy with it a little bit. Let's take all this stuff off. Now I probably could have tried to repair this stuff, but you know. Ah. One thing about some of the modded cars, sometimes it takes a little finesse to try to figure out. Oh, where'd you go? Try to figure out exactly where to position your cursor to. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> there. Wow. All right, go around to the front here. Headlights, headlights, front bumper. All right, you're pretty good. <clears throat> I think I've got everything. 
So, what I want to do is take her straight to the dino. Let's see what she can do over here in a dino. So, some performance parts. Seven hundred three factory horsepower. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. Twelve hundred seventy-eight horsepower. Hmm. Wow. That thing's a beast. All right, I think she needs a paint job, boys and girls. Take it to the paint booth. Oh! All right. <clears throat> so, what color do we want her? Um, I know I said I wanted a blue. What does a pearl look like on there? I don't know, not too bad, I guess. It almost looks like my truck that I have out there, though. Looking for a nice medium bluish. This chameleon looks like it almost looks like purple, doesn't it? Be my first pearl car, though. Yeah, looks good. What's the live release here? Oh, ho. so sweet. Okay, so. No, that doesn't work out right. That doesn't work out right. Hmm, some of the libraries not working well. I think we are going to go with the black. Um, yeah. Painter. All right, she looks pretty good. Locked out stripes. All right, let's move my flamo over to the other lift. Move her back to the garage door. Let's take a few shots of this. Oh yeah. Looking good. Looking good. I need some license plates. So, go into the plate section. And, you know, I first fell in love with this car in Missouri, so I guess I will give it Missouri plates. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. 1971 SS. Two of them? Yes. 
Alright. Let's, uh... I think what I want to do is take her to the speed track and see what she does, and we'll tinker around with this, uh... Alright. Here we go. Alright, keep an eye on that attack. Whoa! Definitely need some tuning on that uh, transmission. All right, we we're pretty much topping out on every gear. So, um, again, this is almost like a hit and miss trying to figure out um, how I do this transmission. Yeah, we definitely need more gears. We'll throw 10 gears in there. Um, we'll give her a 4 10 ratio. Why? Because I just like a 410 ratio. Uh, first gear. Top route at 70. Let's give it uh, 95. Turn 10. Go 175. Uh, 200. Two forty. One's fine. Three ten, and then this one will be uh, four thirty. All right, let's see what that has to offer. Now, might it be because I have these street tires on it, it wants to spin out of control and get out of hand on me because I know with the Flamo, uh, I actually haven't dynoed the Flamo, so I have no idea what the horsepower is on that. All right, let's see, uh, let's see how we can do with this. Shabby. Hmm. Still some work that needs to be done with the car. Alright, so back in the garage. Uh, maybe we'll do this uh, one more shot. Um, first gear. 92. Let's just throw some numbers out there. Let's just adjust as like this. I'm just gonna randomly do this. And we'll take it to the test track and see what happens. Again, I'm gonna have to really do some tuning on this one to Get it to go straight down the track and get some, pick up some good times on it.
Oh, peeking out on seventh gear. Well, anyway, I think what I need to do now is just pop into the editor real quick and give this uh, give this baby an air filter because it needs it. I'll be right back. All right, in the game editor, we've got the 71 Chevelle pulled up. Oh, I don't know which one it is. We will find out here in a minute. And I believe it's this one right here. All right, so main. Why does that not? Hmm. Um, yeah. So this doesn't have an air box in it. So what do we need to do? We're gonna go into parts. I'm going to add a part. And I'm gonna look for. Let's see air filter. Um, dun, dun, dun. Where's it at? Oh, geez. Um, air intake. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to put this air intake in here. I'm going to put the air intake. Let's get a little closer in here. Let's see where I can put this. Not looking too funky with the rest of the car. Okay, let's um, let's reduce the scale down to point five nine. Point nine. <clears throat> Intake is usually on that side. Oh, can I make it, you know, kind of fit down in there, I guess? Do that. Should have put it back more towards the engine. I just feel like it's floating right there. Um, let's make it a smaller intake. How's that? Make it a little smaller. Set it off over here in this corner. Yeah, I've got plenty of room now. Um, make that a 7.5. Ooh. Think I can, I think I can. Let's back that up to the, to the firewall. Now I have an appropriate air intake. All right, so back in the garage, and if everything went well, I have an intake. All right. So, this is what we're going to do. Uh, let's take the clips off this puppy. You know, I didn't think about it. Uh, that's going to be a little difficult to get at these clips with, on this car, but I think it can be done. Let's take the filter out. Um, this nifty air filter in it. Now let's see. Ah, I can move it around. Alright. Alright. Let's take this puppy back to the dyno. Let's see if we can improve on our numbers a little bit. All 
All right. We're at what, 1276 or something like that? Uh, let's see what we get in this time. Gained a little bit. Um, not too bad. Alright. We are done with the dyno. I think that'll be it. I'm going to wrap it up for right now. Uh, it's a beautiful 71 Chevelle. It is quite awesome looking. I really like the way it turned out. Um, like I said, I did a few modifications to it. Um, recently just put that air box in it now, so we are golden. So for now, this is Hearst Quasar saying, have a good night, have fun customizing your ride. Most of all, I am out.